And we are getting our first close look inside some of the other homes on the same street. Colin Ruang continues our coverage live with what neighbors are dealing with. Colin. Well, John and Mallory, those neighbors say they have been through more than they can even imagine in the past 24 hours or so. And I want you to get a better look at the damage right now. You see a fence going up right now in this area and all of the neighbors here still coming to terms with exactly what happened. Now today officials reopened the stretch of 65th Street for the first time since Monday's explosion. And as we mentioned, we're getting our first look inside those homes. Take a look at the video we got a little earlier today. Now this is the damage to the ceiling in a house three doors down from where the explosion happened. You can see a major crack in the ceiling. Other homes across the street have windows boarded up the blast so strong it left them completely shattered. One of the men we spoke to in our five o'clock newscast led us inside his home to see the damage with the outside of his home looking relatively fine. He did not expect to find so much damage inside. All the pictures I had in the living room wall were on the floor. Even my uh, certificate from Homeland Security, the glass was shattered everywhere. And as you might have seen over his shoulder, you could actually see a beam partially got through the wall in his bedroom. And I also spoke to a woman who lives on the other side of the street on this block. She wanted to point out that she couldn't have been more grateful for the way Omaha police and other officials conducted themselves during this whole ordeal. John and Mallory, she tells me they truly went above and beyond during this entire situation. All right. Thank you, Colin Rain, reporting tonight.